Unfortunately, my driver um, that I had working that day, he actually uh, left the key inside the ignition by mistake. It was an honest mistake that led to a criminal act. School bus, what the f yes. The suspects posting the results of their criminal activity on social media for all to see as they ride around town in the stolen school bus. And at times the suspects are standing and jumping on top of the bus as the video keeps recording. Some kids stole the bus. I didn't know they was kids until I actually went on Instagram and someone sent me a video of these kids actually on my bus. What's your reaction to that video? It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, I didn't expect that at all. Darrell Beaver is the owner of the school bus company. In fact, he also drives the buses when he's short on drivers. That's Beaver driving bus number 23. He says bus number 26 was the one stolen late Saturday night into Sunday morning near Denby High School. The stolen bus has the words AJ Transportation on its side. It's 2014. Um, if somebody uh, come forward with the bus, I, I'll be willing to do a reward. I'm not going to say how much, but I will really be giving them something. Bieber says his buses are needed and valued in this east side community. I ride through the neighborhood. I see kids that don't have a transportation business. Uh, at their school and I actually picked them up and dropped them off. The owner of the school bus business wants those people who stole his property to know this is not a toy. They don't have the right license to drive those buses and it's, it's not a game, it's not a toy. That, that thing is death on wheels, like you can't play with that thing. Bieber made a police report Monday and Detroit police tell Fox 2 its commercial auto theft department will investigate. What's your message to these kids? If you want to learn how to drive a bus, come see me. I'm a CDL instructor. Anything you need to learn how to drive, just, just come talk to me. But do it honestly. Honestly, exactly. In Detroit, Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News.